Hello, welcome to Technical Founders. My name is Carlos Lara, AI Technical Founder, and this video is an introduction to the programming language Python. In this channel, we'll be learning Python for the purposes of learning and implementing artificial intelligence and machine learning. Now, I'm assuming that you already have your environment set up and, and ready to write code. And if you don't, just feel free to pause the video, get, get that set up. There's a very straightforward instructions um, online. And let's get started. So here I'm actually using um, an application called Sublime Text. And this is basically where, I'm, where we are going to be writing our Python code. And then we are going to be running it on the terminal if you're on, on, the, on, on using a Mac like, like I am here. So I have the, my terminal pointed to what I call the Python scripts directory. It's a folder where I, where I have the Python scripts and that's where we're going to run them from. So let's learn some, some basic syntax here for Python. So the first thing is how you declare variables in, in Python. So for example, we'll declare a variable and we'll call it channel for the name for for the name of this YouTube channel. And I'm going to use this, what we call the assignment operator. Sometimes we call it equals, but pro the proper name is assigns to. So we're assigning a value to this variable. And here we're going to say technical founders. So from the right hand side here of the of this line, the left hand side knows the data type. So it knows so whenever you have text here in between quotation marks, we call it a string. And I'm going to add a comment here, a string data type. And this is how you add comments in Python. You, do, you use this symbol and then just type the comment there. So you de we have declared a variable here. We have an, uh, the channel variable and it's of type string. And this is the actual value, uh, technical founders. You can have other types of variables. You can have, for example, integer values. So for example, I can say h, which is my h. And I can assign it uh, a value, for example, 27. And this implicitly, it will know the data type, which is an integer here. Now we, we can do another uh, another uh, variable here. We can call it uh, new age, for example. And we can say, I don't know, 27.9, for example. So again, it'll the left-hand side will know what data type this is just from the right-hand side, implicit uh, variable declaration here. And we can also have a list. We can call it, for example, my list. And here we use brackets. So for example, we can have one, two, three, and we can have another list. And this, and this can be of a different type. This can be, for example, we can have strings here. For example, we can have technical founders and uh, for example, YouTube. This is just simple. This is just simple. So this is how you would declare variables. Now the most important function in Python, in other words, something that uh, an instruction to do something is the print function here. So print will basically output some text here in, in our terminal. So when we run this Python script, it'll output some kind of, a, of text. So for example, he, here we can just say channel, we can just output um, this string variable here, this um, this channel, and we can just go ahead and go ahead and run it here. So the way we run it, assuming you're installed Python, the dependencies and everything, we use the, the command Python. And then here in my directory where I, where I have my file, my script, I'm going to say intro.py. This, this file is called intro.py, py for, for Python. Then I run it and you'll see the output is technical founders here. So this print function will output some, some text. And for readability purposes, I'm going to output here just some, some, some empty space so it's easier to read on the, on the top and bottom. So this is the most important, most basic function in Python, and we'll be using it throughout um, all of our learning, even into AI and machine learning. So very simple. And here we, we can output more, more than just this. We can, for example, output the other variables. So for example, we can output age. We can just print the age. And if we run this again, as you'll see, it'll print the basically the text representation of that integer value. So 20, 27. Now, and you can also print the list. We can also print so you, my, my list. And we can run that again. See, it'll output the list. 
So you can basically print here any variable um, that, that you have assigned, and it'll output it here in the terminal if you're if you're using Mac. So that's that's for introduction. I mean, that's that's pretty simple. That's that's just the most basic. And I mean, you you can do more more things here um, with with strings. For for example, you could do for example, let's go declare a variable called sentence, and let's just say the name of this and we want to say the name of this youtube channel is i'm, I'm going to write it here the name of this youtube channel is technical founders i want i want to output uh, the i want the sentence to 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 give us this so we already have this variable technical founders so we are going to do this the name of this YouTube channel is, and here we could actually write out technical founders and then print the sentence and it'll output that. But since we already have the variable, we are going to use this nice uh, Python syntax here. So we're going to use this, this symbol here, this uh, percent symbol and an S. S means in, in place of this, there will be a string. So we're the, in this spot, we are going to put a string. So here we're, we're going to use this, per, this um, um, percent sign and we are going to say channel. So basically, we're, this is going to, and then we are going to print this. So we are going to print the sentence. So this will print out the name of this YouTube channel is technical founders because wherever in play here where this is, we are going to put this uh, variable right here, this channel variable, which is technical founders. So this is just Python syntax, syntax how you would how you would do this, and it, this is going to come in handy uh, later. So it's just it's just pretty nice. So let's go ahead and run this, and as you can see, the name of this YouTube channel is Technical Founders. It's very nice uh, syntax here. I intended to add a period there. So this is just how you declare variables. So this is string types. This is an integer. This is a, what this uh, we call a float value which has a, it means it has a some kind of a decimal place here and also also list and there's also other data types and we'll get more into those um, in, in in future videos this is just a simple introduction to just how do you declare variables the simple data types and the most basic function which is the print function which outputs some text when you when you run this this python script now for example here if you wanted to let's do another sentence so let's call it just for very simple purposes sentence two we're going to say my age is and now if we want to output not a string here because the s here is for string but if we want to output for example here a float or let's say let's say um this integer here we would use the, the letter d and then the, the same thing we, we use this this operator here and then we would just say age and then we can just print that out so we we, we can print sentence two and you see the difference here, S stands for string because the channel type is string. But here, this H uh, variable is, is an integer, so we're going to use the, this is just Python syntax. So as you can see, my H is 27. And we can add 27 years old, but we, here we're just uh, keeping it simple for, 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 for this video. Actually, my H is 27. Actually, oops, I accidentally uh, typed <laughs> typed over it. Actually, after 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 running, yeah, that's H. Whoops, my bad. And then just real quick, just to show you how how we, how you would print out this other data type, like the decimal type. Let's call it sentence three. Say my precise H is, and then here we can use this symbol, and then we can use uh, F here for uh, stands for float which is this kind of decimal type of a uh, type of data type and then if we, if you want to add a particular decimal place we could use a dot and then say for example one or two or, or, or something like that so we just output it like that here and here we can say new age and we run this oh <laughs> whoops don't forget this this um, this operator this is so that so they match so so that this is um, pretty logical here it's just so it knows that this variable go go goes in there 
Oh, save it, of course. Run it again. <laughs> and there we go. Because you save it, Control S, so you can actually uh, update it. So, oh, and of course, we need to print it. We're going to print the sentence three. Run it. Here we go. My precise age is 27 point because we didn't specify decimal places. It just printed out um, the, the, whole, the whole thing. So here we, we can actually experiment with it. We can say 0.1 in between the, the, this percent sign and, and, and the F. Let's run it. And it'll give us one decimal place. And we can say two and it'll give us more and so on. And that's it. This is some Python, introduction to Python, just Python basics, some basic syntax. And in the next videos, we'll get more, uh, start learning more about uh, different variable, different data types, different variables, loops, conditional statements, etc. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, thoughts, comment below, and I'll see you next time.